In this presentation, we are going to look at one way ANOVA with R. Now, there's an inbuilt data set called Warp Breaks, actually all lowercase letters. And in this data set, we have a response variable and two uh, categorical variables or factors. Okay. So, what we're interested in doing is we're only going to work with uh, breaks as response variable, and we're going to see if there's any, uh, if wool is a significant factor in its own right or and then also tension. We're just going to keep to one way and over for this particular presentation. So let's clear that and let's have a quick look at the summary of warp breaks. Okay, so this is our category, uh, numerical response variable breaks, and it's the number of breaks in a wall, I think. And what we have here is two categorical variables. So the first one there is wall, and it's got two levels, A and B, and there's 27 altogether of each, A, 27 items of A, 27 items of B. And there's also a second variable, tension, uh, low, medium, and high. Okay. Now, just as a quick remark, six treatment groups Okay, so that's every possible sort of combination of wool and tension. So the six of them, two for wool, three by tension, so six altogether. There are 54 observations or response items. Okay, so there actually is replicate measurements. Okay, for in each treatment group. Now that's not really relevant here. But it's actually just something to sort of be uh, bear in mind because it would be relevant in two-way ANOVA if you were looking for um, an interaction effect. So we're going to keep things simple here, and what we're going to do is we are going to first off see if there's a difference uh, between the mean value for breaks is essentially wool uh, a significant factor uh, in terms of the number of breaks. So is there more breaks with type A? Or is there more breaks of type B on average? Something like that. Okay. Now there's a couple of other assumptions you can test, but I'm going to sort of look at them separately. Really, what I'm looking at right now is I am going to look at this command here, AOV, analysis of variance. Now this is for one-way and two-way ANOVA, so AOV, and it is similar in functionality to the linear model command LM. Okay, there's something you probably might have sort of seen already before you got to this stage. So anyway, let's do it. So I'm going to have fit one, uh, fit, uh, okay, model one. I'll call it model one. Do you know? Sorry, call it model uh, underscore wool or W, and that is AOV. Okay, the response variable here is breaks. Okay, and we're going to predict it by wool. Or essentially, and the data here is warp breaks. Okay, hopefully that should work. Yes, okay. So, model wool. Now we can look at the model. That's interesting enough, but what really what was probably more interesting is looking at the summary. Okay, so model. So, there we go. So this is an ANOVA table, a one-way ANOVA table, and we're just looking at one particular factor here, wool. One degrees of freedom because there's two group, two types of wool. Two minus one is one. Okay, sums of squares, mean square. Okay, just actually, just you might notice that the, the sums of square divided by one, essentially, is a bit of rounding error going on here. Okay, uh, we would compute this f value. Okay, and essentially from the f value derive, derive, uh, we would derive this p-value. So before I get into it, uh, p-value uh, here is written as uh, pr greater than f, that's the p-value there, just in case you're wondering where, where it's gone, that's the uh, p-value, is uh, uh, 0. Uh, 108 okay now uh, according to my sort of usual framework that is not significant okay and we would fail to reject null hypothesis 
And let's just actually clarify what the null hypothesis is. So the null hypothesis is can be written so you can sort of for uh, uh, verbalize it as follows. Wool is not significant factor in uh, ter terms of breakage and terms of number of breaks. Okay. Another way you could sort of state it is that uh, mu or the mu of a mu, mu, the wolf for the number of breaks from uh, um, group a is equal to the mu of uh, the number of breakage for wool type b. Okay. So that's another way of saying it. it's essentially the same thing. The on average the uh, number of breaks for a is uh, equal to the number of breaks for t uh, type b. Um, that's it really. We'll have a quick look at tension as well. So I'm going to start again and what I'm going to do here is model uh, underscore tension and that is AOV and here again the response variable is breaks and we're going to predict by tension okay and the data is warp breaks okay summary of model underscore t it's just this object here now hopefully that's all in shot but essentially what I'm there looking at there is tension a significant factor in uh, the number of breaks and it seems it is okay so uh, conclusion tension is significant factor in terms of numbers of breaks that is to say we would reject the null hypothesis that um, number of breaks is equal on average for each group of for each type of tension Okay, so it's something along those lines there. So uh, that's grand. So now that's uh, one way and uh, Nova just for done for two individual factors. What you would really there is go on and to a two way ANOVA with um, replication. So you'd look for an interaction effect. So I'll do that in the next video.